Hi everybody, happy Sunday evening. Um, it's, what time is it? 9.30 here in Edmonton. Anyways, the last couple days I've been posting uh, prompts of gratitude for people to think about. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to all the people that have shared. I know that sometimes it's hard to share some personal things about ourselves, but um, certainly yesterday, because it was about health, and um, even a few weeks ago, I had shared how um, praying for people's health is sometimes a block for me. And so just to see so many people sharing about things they were thankful for their health and even seeing some answers to prayers that had been posted in this group um, previously was just really, really encouraging to me. Um, I f forgot to go live yesterday because <laughs> I was reading through the comments and just seeing all the things that people were thankful for for their health. So I just wanted to take this opportunity and say thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being part of this 10 days of gratitude. Um, yeah, I've really just enjoyed thinking through those things and seeing what some of you have answered at. So um, today I'm gonna do three and four. So uh, yesterday was one thing about your health that you're thankful for. So for me, um, when I was a teenager, I started having daily headaches. So it's exactly what it sounds like, headaches that you just have every day. Um, and if anybody has chronic pain, you know that eventually you just don't even realize it because it's just this constant thing in the back of your wherever. Um, and so it was pretty manageable until a couple years ago where um, I would have weeks on end where it's just it's excruciating pain. And, um, you know, times when I couldn't concentrate and I had a hard time thinking and even sometimes talking because the pain was just so much. Um, so last year, I finally decided to, you know, take care of myself and go talk to a doctor about it and see if something could help. And I'm happy to say that there has. My doctor was able to put me on some medicine and it's been day and night. So um, I'm just really thankful to just be feeling rested. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't a diss or anything, but after a few weeks, um, I think it was a couple months of taking this medicine, I went into the doctor for something else and she looked at me and she's like, my goodness, you look so good, rested, <laughs> happy. Um, and I think so, I just forgot how much sometimes pain could just make you just so tired. I mean, also three kids, but let's face it, the pain was a lot to do with it. So yeah, I'm just really thankful that I was able to find something that helped. Anyways, and um, so that's a huge thing that I'm thankful for every day. And then for today's prompts was something, an accomplishment that you've done that you're proud of. Um, now, I am not a boaster. I don't always look at my life and think, oh, wow, man, good job. You did this. Way to go. Um, usually other people have to tell me those things. And even when they do, I'm kind of like, mm, I think you're lying. <laughs> so I don't receive compliments really well. My love language is not, um, you know, words of a praise or whatever, words of affirmation. That's not mine. Um, but an accomplishment that I am very proud of is this year I actually wrote a Bible study. Um, I have it on sale on my website. Feel free to check it out. Um, but this has been something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. And um, I had any time I sat down and actually prayed about, okay, God, what should I be doing? There'd always be this like, hey, Anne, you should write more. You should study more. You should develop your own Bible study. And I was like, yeah, good idea. But then I never do it. And um, last year I did. So um, I don't know if anybody will ever buy it. Doesn't matter. But I'm just really proud of that. And um, starting this group. Um, it's not huge, but I'm just really enjoying 
all the engagement that people are willing to participate in and people willing to open up and share prayer requests and um, different things. And so I've really enjoyed that. And that's something I'm proud of too. So anyways, if you're like me and you don't like boasting, it's okay. Today you can do it. <laughs> um, in the comments, share with me just some an accomplishment that you've done that you can be proud of. So um, yeah, today that was day three and four, um, and I will post a link to the free journal. If you haven't grabbed it yet, you can go ahead on there and sign up, get the free journal, print it out, write it out for yourself. Um, having records of thankfulness is always really good. And um, just the act of writing, because it's physical, um, helps with your memory. So the next time when you're having a hard day, um, hopefully those things that you've written down will be easier to come up in your brain because you've actually taken the time to write it. So, because there is a connection between writing and memory. Anyways, that's my teacher moment. <laughs> so I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. We have had the most amazing fall weather in Edmonton the last month or so. It's just been truly beautiful. So we actually spent most of the weekend outside, which has been lovely. I'm hoping that it'll be the same for the next couple of weeks, but you never know. Um, yeah, and so come back tomorrow to find out what day five of gratefulness is.